Hello, everyone. I'm Spencer Price, candidate for the 18th State Senate District. I have called this press conference for the purpose of announcing the outcome of my libel suit against Brian Zoratovich, an associate of Zach Lewis, legislative aide to Cecil Staten, uh, and to correct numerous inaccuracies recently promoted by my opponent, John Flanders Kennedy, and the Macon Telegraph. Two years ago, in my first campaign for the 18th State Senate District, Brian Zoratovich sent an email to the Monroe County Republican Party email list. Portions of this email were later printed in the Monroe County Reporter. The email made numerous statements which were either distortions of the facts or outright inaccuracies. The most serious accusation made by Zoratovich was that I did not pay my income taxes during the period from 2002 through 2009. This statement was patently false and the basis of my libel claim. Mr. Zoratovich recently refused to appear for depositions on two occasions, and on Tuesday, May 6th, a judgment of libel against Mr. Zoratovich was rendered by Superior Court Judge Tommy Wilson in Monroe County. I received an award of damages in the amount of $141,448.20. Money collected as a result of this award will be donated to charity. For me, this case was never about money, but rather about the truth. Mr. Zoratovich refused to tell the truth, and he will now pay the price for his actions. Two weeks ago, my opponent, Macon Attorney John Flanders Kennedy, made the statement during a political forum in Bolingbroke that I refused to settle a contract dispute with the Medical Center of Central Georgia, resulting from my deployment to Iraq in 2005 a statement that was patently false and designed to attack my character and integrity. The, the next night at a political forum at Lake Wildwood, John Flanders Kennedy again made the same accusation, after which I produced an affidavit from my attorney attesting to the fact that I had made an offer to the Medical Center of Central Georgia to settle the dispute upon my return from Iraq. Recently, the editorial board of the Macon Telegraph made several false statements in their endorsement of my opponent. In their endorsement, the Telegraph stated that I had failed to open a clinic as part of a contractual agreement with the Medical Center. This statement is patently false, as I did, in fact, open the clinic and practice there continuously for 13 months prior to my deployment to Iraq. Further, the Telegraph suggested that I had an ongoing dispute with the Medical Center. This statement, too, is patently false, as the dispute was formally resolved on March 18, 2014. The Telegraph's egregious misrepresentation of the facts highlights a deep disregard for the truth among the editorial board. The few remaining readers of the Telegraph should be aware that two years ago the editorial board compared me to Kim Jong-il, dictator of communist North Korea, based upon my pro-life stance and my endorsement by Georgia Right to Life. It is because the editorial board opposes my pro-life stance that I have chosen not to advertise with the Macon Telegraph during this campaign. Though I am campaigning to win, there are certain things I will not do to win, such as supporting with my advertising dollars an organization that opposes a pro-life stance. Thank you.